for the best medical and paramedical lectures subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with us hello everyone today we are going to talk about cesarean section so let's get started it is an operative procedure to deliver the fetus through an abdominal and uterine incisions after the period of viability next we'll see the indications of cesarean section cephalopelvic disproportion which means when the baby's head or baby is too large to fit through the mother's pelvis this condition known as cephalopelvic disproportion next is fetal mal malpresentations fetal vertex positions in relation to the maternal pelvis which means the position of the fetus is not proportional to the feet uh, to the uh, mother's pelvis next previous cesarean section uh, then fetal distress placenta previa when the placenta covers the opening in the mother's cervix abrupto placentae with five fetuses which means placenta detaches from the womb uterus the condition can de can deprive the baby of oxygen and nutrition next cord prolapse the umbilical cord this condition can be fatal because this uh, because it can trap against the baby's ba uh, baby's body during delivery dyscochia abnormal or difficulty in labor fetal fetal malperfor malperformations likely to cause obstructed labor high order multifunctional uh, multifetal gestation which means multiple pregnancies with three or more fetuses at one time failed induction premature rap premature rupture of membranes means the rupture of uh, uterine uh, uterus post post datism which means when the woman has not yet deliver her baby after 42 weeks of gestation this condition is known as post datism pre ischemia high blood pressure usually begins after 20 weeks of pregnancy in women gestational diabetes mellitus intra uterine growth restrictions due to some um, cyst or because of the ovarian cysts and uh, then rh iso isoimmunization which means the rh factor when the blood from the baby makes the mother's body create antibodies that can harm the baby's blood cells this is very fatal condition previous explain iufd which means intrauterine fetal dysdemis it is fetal death that occurs after 20 weeks indications vaginal delivery contraindication hence it is not very important in cesarean section but we can go through this thing previous classical cesarean section or uterine scar in upper segment contraind contracted pelvis placenta previa previous vvf repair stress incontinence repair cord presenta presentation fetal compromise pregnancy with carcinoma cervix fibroid ovarian tumor causing obstruction genital tract malformations of the cervix or vagina common indications for cesarean sections previous previous cesarean labor dyscochia fetal distress cephalopelvic disproportion malpresentations failure of induction and antepartum hemorrhage next cesarean section uh, incidence vary varies from 15% to 30% rise in indi- incidence is due to increased safety of the procedure decreased in priority proportion of nu- nullipares is more older infertile infertile high risk women are having children previous cesarean section increased detection of fetal distress by efhrm 
Breach presentations predominantly delivered by LSCS. The meaning of LSCS is lower segment cesarean section. Decrease in difficult operative vaginal deliveries. Concern for malpractice ligation. Improving socioeconomic status. Cesarean section contraindications. Valid in the absence of ma maternal indications of abdominal delivery. Intrauterine fatal death, gross congenital malformations, extreme prematurity, coagulation defect. Timing of caesarean section, elective. When the caesarean section is done as a planned procedure to ensure optimal preoperative preparation and surgical conditions. Emergency. When the caesarean section is done because of sudden deterioration in maternal fatal condition or during labor due to non-progress or failed induction or failed trial. Lower segment caesarean section. Preoperative actions. Valid informed concerned. Injection renatidine 50 mg IV half to one hour before the procedure. Injection metaclopramide. 10 mg IV half half to one hour before the procedure. Stomach should be empty. Bladder should be catheterized. Fatal presentation, position, and FSH should be checked. Anesthesia, which we can give to the patient, which is spinal, epidural, or GA. Position, dorsal position. 15 degree lateral tilt to prevent supine hypotension or venocaval compression may be given. Abdominal cleaning and wrapping, abdominal incision, transverse. Post op pain, pain is less. Less chance of wound disease, incisional hernia, cosmetically better. Vertical infram Inframbilical midline, rapid entry into abdomen, capable of extension, blood loss minimal. Uterine incision, lower segment transfer, apposition better, lesser, lesser bleeding due to less vascularity, less active uterine segment, healing better, stretch during subsequent pregnancy as a long the line of incision. Chances of rupture during subsequent pregnancy, labor are less. Classical upper segment vertical. Indications. Access to lower uterine segment is restricted because of adenations. Lower segment approaches is not possible due to enterine, uh, anterior placenta previsia. Large febrile in the lower uterine segment. Transverse lie. Dorsal inferior positions. Pregnancy with carcinoma cervix, post-mortem caesarean section. Lower segment caesarean section. Doin's recreator is introduced in the lower part of the abdominal incision to expose the lower uterine segment. Recognition of lower uterine segment is by the presence of loose part partineum over it. The loose partineum is incised transversely and the bladder is pushed down. Lower uterine segment incision should be made after catheterizing the uterus to avoid injury to the uterine vessels cursing along the lateral walls of the uterus. Lower uterine segment incision is made in the midline deeply deep uh, dependent till the membranes are reached and then ex extended laterally by straightening the create a 10 cm opening. Lower segment se caesarean section, the presenting part is hooked by the operator and delivered while the assist assistant applies fundal pressure. The placenta and membranes are delivered and the inside of the uterus is inspected for any abnormalities and, and completeness of removal of contents. Green army tag hemostosis clamps are applied to the angles and the margins of the uterine uh, incision to achieve control of bleeding. The uterine incision is closed in a single layer with chromic 
cut cut number 1 or number 2 using an interlocking running suture to achieve hemostasis. It is not necessary to close the visceral or parietal uh, peritoneal layers. Peritoneal toilet is done and the abdomen is closed in layers. Post-operative care Kneel orally for 24 hours Crystallize for 20 24 hours, approximately 2500 ml. Antibiotics as per hospital policy. Pain relief. Care of the bladder. Monitor vital, uh, vital parameters, vaginal bleeding, urine output and hydration. Palpate the uterine fundus. Location and consistency. Encourage early breastfeeding. Oral fluids after 24 hours. Discharge from hospital after 96 hours, stitch removal on 7th post-operative day to avoid exertion for 4 to 6 weeks. Contraceptive advice. Caesarean section complications, hemorrhage, sepsis, antiatistic complications, thromboembolism, thromboembolism, wound complications, late Incision hernia, problems in suture pregnancies, scar rupture, repeat caesarean. So this is all for today. The caesarean all about. Do like, leave a comment, and share with your friends.